Ama inda ona mudungwe we mamonya Vachi manya vachi buda mchikoni Nazigu nandare hameno za di so the very first Gold Cup match for the Zimbabwe Sables was played on a newly named stadium. Machinery Exchange Rugby Stadium doesn't sound familiar and you're probably wondering exactly what Machinery Exchange is. Well, I'm here with Brendan Riley and he is the Managing Director of Machinery Exchange. So tell us exactly what does Machinery Exchange do? Uh, Machinery Exchange is an earth moving equipment services, services provider. Um, we do everything from selling and renting earth moving equipment and trucks uh, to repairing them and rebuilding them like the ones you can see behind us. Um, we have a heavy engineering business so we do a lot of work on the mining industry uh, for underground mining equipment mm -hmm. and we sell spare parts to earth moving machines and trucks. How long has Machinery Exchange been around? Uh, Machinery Exchange was um, founded in 1954. Uh, it's um, myself and my father are partners uh, in Machinery Exchange. We haven't owned it all that time, but um, we've, we got involved together uh, in 2010, 2011, and have sort of grown the business from there. Speaking of growth, Zimbabwean economy, a lot of people are looking at employment, and this looks like this is involving a whole lot of people. How many people does Machinery Exchange employ? Uh, right now we're, we're close on 200 staff across the country. That is a lot of people. So we've got um, a lot of people to uh, keep busy. But lucky for us with the new dispensation, I think the mining industry and earth moving industry has taken off. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a lot of positive momentum in the economy. So that has resulted in uh, increased machine sales and part sales and repairs as people try to get their mines going or their, their road building projects, whatever it may be. So you talk about the fact that there are 200 people right across the country that you employ. Yeah. So where can we find machinery exchange? They want to get into the mining business. So we're, our head office is here in uh, Masasa, in Arari, on Martin Drive. Then we have a branch in Kwekwe. Uh, we have another branch in Bulawayo. And we have a depot in Wangi. Um, those are centrally, centrally lo located to um, service all the mining industry uh, in those areas. But of course we also help uh, with all the earth moving and road construction that goes on there as well. Okay, so the stadium, you could have chosen a number of things to sponsor. You could have sponsored the Sables in a number of ways, but you chose the stadium. Why specifically the stadium? Um, because uh, back in the early 2000s, uh, a previous company of ours, GT Earth Movers, was involved with uh, developing that stadium. Mm -hmm. So we had originally put the, the, the embankments there and, and built in the seating, so we knew it well. Mm -hmm. uh, we knew that it, we could see it needed uh, some upkeep, some maintenance done on it, yes. and um, it needed... Um, a shinier look and it needed a proper home for the Sables to play their international matches. So because we knew the stadium well and because we were in the, in the business of, of building and earth moving, we knew exactly what to do in, a, in a, quite a short period of time. Definitely. So we applied our expertise to something we knew a lot about. And in terms of the Sables themselves, they've gone into three matches now and some people are saying, oh, you know what, this is what's happening with the Sables and was it really worth it for you as a sponsor? How do you feel about the Sables so far? Um, yeah, we're very, ha very happy with our association with the Sables. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a growing period and Definitely. I think that there's a long way for them to go, but they're on the right track. They've got some good, good names behind them. Um, there seems to be a lot of interest and momentum. We were very happy with the home match and um, yes. the exposure and the number of people that were there. So I think it's all part of the growing phase and uh, we're very happy to be associated with the Sables. Definitely. So we're going to actually take you to Machinery Exchange Rugby Stadium and I have a few more questions for him. So we're now at Machinery Exchange Rugby Stadium and the last time I was here it was completely packed to the rafters, literally. And just taking a look right now, there are a number of changes that are taking place. And you did mention that you're gonna be making a number of changes. So we can see some, but what are some of the changes we can look forward to? Well, I think we're looking at the ground and seeing how we can improve it further. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely a need for a, for a bigger um, change room. Uh, we're lacking in the change room department. So we're thinking of looking at uh, developing something in the, in the corner, north corner up there, okay. where, we, where we build extensive change rooms and maybe some offices upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, so it could definitely do with that facility. And of course, there's, there's a lot of benches missing on this side oh, of the gonna field. We're going to need here. a lot more benches. <laughs> <laughs> Social Let's media and so. support is anything to go by. So another thing is, did you actually play rugby yourself? Because you seem to know quite a lot about it. And 
for you to be able to invest this much in Zimbabwean rugby, you must have some sort of emotional attachment to it. Um, yeah, I, I played a bit of rugby. I played for Harare Sports Club uh, ah. for the men under 21 and the men's team. And uh, actually, my father also played for Sports Club, which would have been maybe the early 80s. So we go we go way back and we, we know the grounds well mm -hmm. and so um, yeah we have a we have a history with with Harare Sports Club. The next match that is coming up for the Sables might be played here as well. And what are the some of the things that we'll be able to see this time compared to the last match? Um, uh, I think we we would like to try and look at improving the seating. Um, I think also from the last match against Morocco there was a need to improve. Um, the entrance and the, and the swiping facilities and the entrance and the entrance facilities. So there's there's some tweaks that can be done to make it better. But in terms of physical infrastructure that stays here, I think uh, constant maintenance is what we're going to do. We're going to continue maintaining the ground. And it's very important. Exactly. Very, you don't want to let important. it go too long. We maintain the ground. We, we trim the trees. We trim the embankments. We make sure that anything that breaks we fix, whether it be the wooden stands or the brickwork. And um, yeah, and just generally keep the, the, up, the up, upkeep all the same and uh, make sure it's up to standard. Looks really good. I really would like to see some sort of machine somewhere yeah. around the stadium. Yeah. I think we will we'll definitely try and get some machines on display <laughs> next time. Definitely. And um, yeah, we'll look forward to it as well. It was lovely spending the afternoon with you. Thank you so much for showing us around Machinery Exchange. And I think I'll be back to probably try and drive. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. <laughs> This is in Sables TV. We're hanging out with Machinery Exchange this afternoon. Really insightful. A whole lot of people pumping a whole lot of things into Zimbabwean rugby. And we'll be expecting a lot more. You want to stay tuned to Sables TV. No, that it comes from the